In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the starter on this Chevy Silverado. Let's get into it. We're gonna disconnect the battery. You can disconnect the negative terminal using a 10 millimeter wrench. If you need to, you can take this plate out of here, but it's not necessary. You can work around it. Loosen that up. And slide that off and out of the way. We have the exhaust out of the way so that you can see a little better, but you don't need to remove the exhaust to do this job. Now I'm gonna take a 13 millimeter socket and take these two bolts out. Right there. There's another one right here. There's a cover right here. We need to remove that. Use a 10 millimeter socket, take this bolt out. Take that out. Now the cover's loose. Slide the starter back. And then the cover will come down. And grab the starter. Slide it down, just pop that cover off. Slide that out of the way. There's a connector right there we need to remove. Just get under that with a pick, right pry bar. Just pull it up slightly. Slide that connector up and out of the way. Now we can see where this cable attaches to the solenoid. Use a 13 millimeter wrench, get in there, and just loosen that nut up. If you're having trouble accessing this, what you could do is take the tire off and also take the inner fender well out, and you can access it a little easier. But it is possible to do it this way. You don't have to. Do it the other way. And pull that nut off. And you can disconnect the cable. And the starter will just slide down. And you can just pull it out. And take the starter, slide it up here. I want to get this cable lined up. Get that on first while it's still hanging. Just putting a locking washer on and then a nut. And it's a little tricky to get a torque wrench in there. But if you can, you want to torque that nut to 30 foot-pounds. Right. If you can't get a torque wrench in there, do the best you can. Now connect the connector. Line that up. And lock it down. Now you can take the shield, slide that in position. And slide the starter up. And before we slide it in, we're gonna take this cover, put that cover back in place. the 10 millimeter nut into the cover and tighten it down. Snug, put the starter bolts in.
and tighten these down. Now we'll torque these bolts to 37 foot-pounds. And connect the cable to the negative battery terminal. Get that on, and we'll tighten that down. Snug that down. Just give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.